Hello friends, welcome back to the Craft Castle. Today we're gonna do a fun little experiment. I have a really nice laser engraver that also has the tumbler rotating tool with it that I'm able to make these super nice um, laser etched tumblers. I have two different versions to show you what they look like. There's nothing on the back of this, but they're really nice and crisp. And these are laser engraved. So the Glowforge that I have does not do tumblers because it is so big you only can put so like so big i think it's like one and a half inch material in the glowforge so i have another one it's called a uh, epilogue zing and it comes with a it doesn't come with it i purchased an additional attachment that does the rotary so you can do tumblers like this so you can see the nice crispness of the lines in this and this is her name mrs smith right here but you see how crisp this is this is what we're going to try and do here on this tumbler today. Now, the goal for all of this is to see apples to apples, what would be the difference? This one or this one? Is this one better or is this one better? Now, I was going to do two different versions of tumblers, which is why I have two tumblers right here, but I've already seen that this one right here, the more intricate details that you have, oh, there's a glare, but the more intricate details that you have, the harder it is, is that for the decal to be weeded. And so this one isn't going to work. So I already know from, from the get go that if you are gonna be doing this method, do not get a vinyl decal that's very intricate in wording. You want it to have a little bit thicker wording like this. So for this project, you are just going to need obviously scissors, transfer tape, your vinyl decal of your choice, when you do this, you need to reverse weed. So everything that is still silver is going to be the color of your powder coated tumbler. If it is white where you have taken it off, that is where we're gonna put this stuff on there and that is where the silver is gonna line up. It kind of messes with your brain a lot when you're weeding this, but you wanna make sure that whatever is that it, you still have the vinyl, that's what's gonna be left over in, in red or if you do blue or whatever. So we're gonna need that, some scissors, a paintbrush, any old paintbrush will do. All we're gonna do is dab this stuff on this, um, on your tumbler. This stuff right here, you can get on Amazon. I got this at Lowe's. It's a pretty decent sized bottle and it's quite big to be honest with you because we're not gonna use a whole lot of this stuff. We're just gonna do like a light coating over it. Um, so if you can find a smaller bottle, a smaller bottle cool if not this will work it's just gonna last you for a very long time you're obviously going to need a powder co coated tumbler or cup or anything like that it cannot be just metal this it will not work for that so it has to have some t some sort of powder coating onto it then you're going to need just a varnishing tool this one right here is mine and it's super dirty that is we're just going to use a little bit later the uh, like a weeding tool picking tool that's what you're going to need obviously to weed out your vinyl decal but then later on when we go to figure out if the um if this is working or not and then last but not least is a hair dryer i know kind of weird um i've watched a lot of other people on tiktok do this and it's kind of like a hit and miss some people have success some people do not when they do this method with that being said, I have noticed the people that are having more success are using a heat, uh, a hair dryer or a heat gun to put their vinyl decal in place. So I feel like this is like a, a not an optional supply. This is something that you need in order to try and get the best decal engraving on this cup. Okay, so let's get started. I have already weeded out, like I said, I've already weeded out my decal and it's in reverse weed. All I need to do now is put on my transfer tape using the varnishing tool and we're just gonna do it real push down and then we're gonna reverse weed that out. And this is just regular old removable vinyl. You don't want it to be permanent vinyl because if it stays there, eventually we want to take this off. So it does not, I, I personally think that we don't need to have a permanent vinyl, just a removable vinyl is fine. I'm going to lay my towel down so it doesn't roll around too much. And you're going to want to center this onto your tumbler.
Okay, when you have that done, just take your burnishing tool again, and we are going to really push this decal down. The aim of the game is to get the decal really stuck on this powder coating so it does not, this stuff does not seep underneath your cup. Okay, then we're going to peel it off. Okay, this is where the hair dryer comes into place. You can see how it's lifting up in certain areas. And I'm afraid that it would do that in other, you know, in the smaller areas that I can't see. So I'm just going to do a power shot with heat and really get it stuck on there. Now, because you heated this up, this might be hot depending on, oh yeah, it's very hot, depending on how long you did that or if you used an actual heat gun versus a hair dryer, it might be hot to the touch. Seems like it's pretty stuck on there. And then that stuff, that area where it was bubbling up, it's no longer bubbling up. So there's that. Okay, I'm just gonna use the backing of my vinyl decal and I'm gonna pour out just a little bit. Make sure you shake this really well but just pour a little bit out. Try not to get, because this is a chemical, I should have been wearing gloves for this, <laughs> but safety is not my number one concern, y'all. Clearly, never is. But try not to get it on your fingers. So just take your paintbrush. Now, be mindful. Anything outside here, like right here, see how it's pretty tight right here? Anything outside of this, and if you put this stuff on there, it will take your powder coating off. So you want to only stay within your logo or um, your design that you're powder coating, taking the powder coating off. And you just wanna kind of dab this on there. When you're doing a stencil and you're painting over a stencil, you don't want to drag, you want to dab, and that's so it does not get underneath your stencil. That's essentially what we're doing here. And so you just want to dab. Don't drag your paintbrush around. Okay, I feel like I have this pretty nicely coated. So I'm going to now let this sit here. Don't let it move too much. Let this sit here and start taking off that, that powder coating. The pick and why you need the pick is then we can go in in a little bit and kind of if the powder coating is coming off when you're picking it, that means it is ready to go. But obviously, because I just did that, it's not coming off. So we need to let this sit. Uh, I have seen about 30 to 45 minutes. So we'll come back in about 30 minutes and, let, and let's see what this looks like. After only a couple of minutes, as I'm scratching this, you can see there's just a little bit of red that's coming out. So it is working. It is taking it off, but it's not taking it off so easy. So I'm just going to keep letting it cure. Now, I don't, th I have not been keeping track of how long we've been up here, but you can tell as I drag the, dr the scraper that the paint is starting to cut off. That powder coating is starting to come off. I'm gonna let it sit just for a little bit longer because in some areas it's a little bit harder to do to scrape off. So I'm gonna let this sit on there for a couple more minutes and then it should be done. Okay, so I believe that we are done. I can scrape it with the tool and in all the areas, it seems all the powder coating seems to wanna to come off really easy. So I'm gonna just going to take this to my bathroom and rinse the, citrus stripping gel off. Okay, so I've just rinsed it off. I don't know, y'all. This might be a craft fail. It might, it might be. We'll see. Okay, so I have it all stripped off. I am just going to take my weeding picking tool and I'm going to pick off the rest of the vinyl decal that's on here. It seems like it wants to come off. I think I'm just going to try and rub it off a little bit. Okay, so this is what it looks like after I scraped it. I just used a plastic razor blade and I scraped off that excess. It is definitely not perfect. But I mean, it's better than 
not having anything at all, correct? <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to use a little bit of alcohol, rubbing alcohol, to try and clean up some of those edges. I'm just gonna dump it on there and then use my towel and kind of wipe off any of the excess. Okay, it is not terrible. It's really, truly not terrible. You can see that the lines aren't very uh, sharp. It's kind of fuzzy is what I would like to say, but it still works. While this one right here is crisp. This is with a laser cutter and it is just, it's just crisp, a lot crisper than this one right here. So, I mean, it works. It definitely works. It's just not as crisp. All right, y'all, I sure hope I inspired you to make and I will see you later.